Hang on, because this story is going to take you for a ride. Two men are taken to jail after cameras captured this car crash, spilling over from the highway into the parking lot of a Sherwood business. Good evening, everybody, and thank you for joining us at 5 o'clock. I'm Bob Clawson. A bystander then held a suspect at gunpoint until police got there. Tyler Thompson joining us after speaking to that armed bystander. Tyler, this thing went crazy in a matter of seconds. Absolutely. The crash did happen in just a matter of seconds, but once the smoke cleared, witnesses say it became apparent two men in one of the cars were up to no good. The cars move at a steady pace. But on Wednesday, near Highway 67, 167 and Warden Road in Sherwood, steady became scary. Sherwood police are already on the way. Two cars were on their side. One man was on the ground at gunpoint. Jason Winfield works at the U-Haul where the cars crashed. First cop on the scene said, where's the gun? And I told him it's a civilian on the other side over there of the parking lot. The gunman, Gene Foster, says he had encountered the white truck miles back and saw it trying to run people off the road. He stopped to help and says the passenger from the white truck appeared lethargic. He had a cell phone in his hand and then he started searching around on his body. Officers were there in seconds and ended up arresting the driver of the white truck, Brian Allen, and the passenger held at gunpoint, Derek Allen. A police report states both men appeared to be under the influence of something. Inside that white car, cops found 34 grams of what is believed to be cocaine, a half-empty bottle of whiskey, and 10 credit cards that belonged to other people. A reckless highway exit. Unfortunately, everything went okay. With suspects stopped in their tracks. It did appear that everyone else involved in this whole ordeal ended up being okay. Both Derek and Brian Allen both faced several felony charges. Back to you.